the idea to come here in Himachal Pradesh and the Baspa Valley um, came from Hans Jörg, Hans Jörg Auer. It was his idea, like he was here before with some Austrian friends of him. He thought this would be really cool to gather a couple of North Face climbers and bring us out here. It was a really spontaneous idea, just uh, an idea of some friends who wanted to travel to a new place and, and explore it. This valley is, is special. You can, you can kind of feel the energy from this valley like the second you drive into it. You're surrounded by these giant mountains on either side of you. The people that live here have been farming here and living here for hundreds of years, if not more. It's a very important place to a lot of these people and to come here and climb is, is special to interact with their landscapes in a different way that they've seen. And then also just kind of learn from them about their culture and about their way of life. Another one, take another one, oh, it's the same guy. <laughs> It's an eye-opening experience to be here. Come, come, come on, My name is Matty Hong. I'm a rock climber from Colorado. Mostly focus on sport climbing and bouldering, but. In the past few years, I've branched out a little bit and been doing some more adventurous trips, some, some bigger walls. <laughs> it definitely wasn't like on my radar at all to come here. I was on a trip with Jacopo a couple months before this trip was planned, and he had mentioned that he was going to India to climb a big wall, and, and he offered for me to join along. So I knew I was gonna be, you know, a little bit out of my comfort zone and a little bit, you know, the new guy on the trip. I say color, and you say the next one. The like yellow. Uh, the, new one. the bigger one. Yellow. yellow. Green. Okay. <laughs> Purple. <laughs> G R B Y G P. I need like an anagram. It seemed like a great opportunity. The team was amazing. I've always wanted to climb with most of these people. It was going to be an experience that I would regret not taking. Hey, you want to go to India? It's going to be great. <laughs> Exploring a place is all about expectations. If you expect a lot, it can get really hard, exploration. But if you're really open for whatever that can happen or that will be on your path, then it's exploration is really fun. All right, goodbye. <laughs> I think lightness is definitely an, uh, an attitude in life and in climbing. If we don't take life too serious, then we don't take climbing too serious. Yeah, this trip isn't like your typical sport climbing trip where you have one objective and you know the conditions are going to be good for, for when you're going to try. And You know, we are climbers, we like to climb, we like to explore. And so it's nice not to just sit in a, in a hotel and waiting for the good weather window. Just go out and, and do what we like. It was a good way to, to keep the psych of the team high. It was really nice to stay like at the village during uh, our time off the mountains because uh, there is such a big potential for, uh, for climbing just 
down in the valley around the village. This was, you know, a lot of improvisation and a lot of just being flexible with the time and the weather, you know. We're in the Himalaya, it's like, it's bound to rain and it pretty much rained every evening we were here. Hey, hey guys, how are you? If we don't have one week of good weather, I'm not coming back to India. To <laughs> Never, you know. It's the free time, the free time. Like third time with this weather. Okay. Third time with this weather. It was bad up there for you guys. So you got to be prepared for all these kind of unknown factors and, and be ready to, to hop on, you know, those good weather days and take advantage of them. Just before leaving for India, Iker sent us a message in this WhatsApp group that we have all together saying that he broke his uh, toe hitting the couch <laughs> just before to go to sleep. And first we all thought that it was just a joke because uh, Iker is always uh, like joking and, uh, and laughing, but it was serious so he couldn't climb. I love the I love the weather. I love the food. <laughs> I love the smell of the of the things here. But the next the next uh, next week looks really nice. Uh, as soon as uh, his toe got a little bit better, he started to cut his climbing shoes to just uh, be able to to climb a little bit and. Um, like he suffered a lot, he hiked up to the plateau, carried loads on the way up, on the way down and uh, didn't think too much about his injuries and he, he managed to, to put up a lot of new routes and uh, it was really inspiring. I had never been on a trip before with Iker and Aneka. You know, I had just kind of heard these, these tales about them and, um, you know, all these amazing routes that they've established together and, and just their personalities, you know, I think shine through other climbers. I've, I've just heard, you know, I've heard about how much fun they are to be on trips with and, and it definitely proved to be that, you know, like their, their energy that they bring to the table is, is crucial for these kind of expeditions because, you know, when the weather does get bad, they're still cracking jokes, they're laughing, they're saying, come on guys, like tomorrow, the weather's good, let's go, let's go, you know, and it just, it keeps the energy high and um, I hope to go on many more trips with them. I'm a little bit sad that uh, we didn't uh, manage to spend more time together because it would, be, would have been really nice to, uh, to stick to the original plan and go all together to the big wall. But that's part of, uh, of the expedition. Okay, Neko, vamos! Yes! Sami! Que buena! Otra vía abierta aquí en Himalaya, la India. Buena, buena!
For me, the most important thing about big wall climbing is you need to have patience. You need to know that you're not going to climb all day, every day, and you're never going to do hard. You're going to lose energy, you're going to lose finger strength, you're going to lose power. These things are just inherent on climbing a new wall, always. You invest so much time and energy in many other things that like sometimes the climbing is only like, I just say something, 5%, 10%, it's very little, but um, that's part of it. I think that's the adventure. And I think for first descent climbing, you need to choose for adventure and you, not, you don't need to choose always for climbing. I'd never been on a trip with Seabay before. La cara pelirojo, como un vikingo, pero estoy de España, ¿eh? Sí, ¿eh? Claro. Soy el hermano po número tres. You can see his mind kind of like go into this into this zone when he starts climbing, and he and he really just kind of sets off, and he's probably the most determined climber I've seen, and he just has this kind of energy. He's like the person you want standing next to you to to like suck it up and do those tough jobs and, and give it 110%, you know, once he starts climbing. The main objective was to climb this big wall. You know, we made an initial approach to our first camp and kind of like scouted the wall, tried to pick a line. And at first we realized like, this thing was totally blank. There weren't really any features at all on the main face of the wall. And this was going to be kind of a big problem for us because of the amount of time we had and just the amount of effort that it would take to climb. How's everyone doing? Great. Waiting for our morning coffee. What a sight right now. Once we started climbing, we quickly realized that these cracks, because no one had climbed them before, were full of mud and grass, and, and it was just going to be this kind of grueling, slow process of cleaning the root. Those are the decisions we're making here in India. It wasn't good up here, by the way, and we just climbed up to here. <laughs> This isn't even a first ascent. A goat has been here. Probably picked up by one of those giant eagles. The king. All right, man. Be safe. Have fun. God bless. Here we are. Trying to get up this thing. Well, I should say Jacopo. Where is he? There he is. Standing on a little chossy flake. Before this trip, I had climbed with Jacopo a little bit. You know, we've been on a few expeditions together and he's one of the most motivated climbers I've ever seen. He's always, every morning, you know, his bag is packed, he's ready to go, no matter where it might be. And he's looking for, for ways to challenge himself every time. So climbing with Jacopo is, is always a fun experience, and I know I'm always gonna, like, get pushed. Nice, dude. Climbing is definitely a way to explore, but it's just my approach to exploration. I think anyone can have uh, or should have his own or her own. You can explore your backyard, you can explore whatever you want. You just have to maybe get out of your comfort zone or just see everything from another perspective. I think the best pitches uh, on the route that we put up on, on that face were the last part of the, of the wall. I 
was quite steep and it offered a lot of different uh, type of climbing. This was this uh, uh, changing corner with a really nice crack at the top. That was probably my favorite pitch. Also because I invested a lot of time to uh, like clean it and, and then climb it on the next day. You did it! Climbing. <laughs> nice dude. Woo! Boom! We kinda veered off from our original plan a little bit, did some some pitches to the left and then back over to the original crack and it was a lot of improvising to get to the summit. Yeah, it was it was cool, you know, I wasn't definitely like I don't think anyone was counting pitches to see who's going to end up on the top first, but it was you know, uh Cibe had just done a lead and it was my turn so I just started climbing there were a couple spots nice, man. you know that was a cool new experience for me it was just like considering all these different factors Maddie is bringing us to the top we're both, both happy that he didn't make a, a whipper we're all we're sure that <laughs> that he will hold the holes for a long time but place to be here Okay. You know, it was a special moment for me to be up there by myself at first and just kind of like have this oh god moment of, you know, like how did I end up here? Summit! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> nice! Ah! It's not just about first ascents, it's not just about finding rocks and climbing them. It's it's about, you know, <laughs> stepping into kind of the unknown and, and climb, but be open-minded and throw the rack on your harness and just go and hope for the best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>